Well, hello. In this video, we are going to talk about currency pairs. Currency pairs are building blocks in forex markets, always traded pairs. Yeah. So we are going to talk about us, currency pairs. Now let's look at the various types of pairs we have. First one is major currency pairs, minor currency pairs, and exotic currency pairs. Great. All right, these are the breakdown major pairs, minor pairs, exotic pairs. Looking at the uh, the currency pairs, you could see that they are always paired together. You always have two currencies paired together. So the first currency under the major pairs is what Euro USD. In four ways, as we buy one currency, it means we are selling the other. As we sell the other, it means we are buying the other currency. We always buy the stronger currency and sell another. In all, we have seven major currencies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the first one is Euro, US dollar. The second one is Japanese yen, Great British pound, US dollar. US dollar, Swiss franc, US dollar, Canadian dollar, New Zealand dollar, US dollar, Australian dollar, US dollar. You we'll see that all the major pairs have US dollar in them. We have US dollar yen, 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 yen. Yeah. That means US dollar is a very powerful currency. It's a, the most reserved currency in the world. Moving forward, we have minor currency pairs. In all, they are 24, but we just limit ourselves to a few. The first one is what New Zealand dollar against Japanese yen, Australian dollar uh, against Japanese yen, Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, Swiss franc, Japanese yen, Great British pound, Japanese yen, Euro, Japanese yen, Euro, New Zealand dollar, Euro, Australian dollar, Euro, Canadian dollar, Euro, Great British pound, Euro, franc. Looking at this, you will see that uh, minor pairs don't have US dollar in them but includes other major pairs like uh, Euro, Japanese yen, and Great British Pound. Take note. So these three currencies, Euro, uh, Japanese yen, Great British Pound are also major currency. Take note. Major currency pairs are most traded pairs in forest. So as a beginner, you always advise to trade these major your pace as time goes on you can move on to trade the minor pace or the exotic pace don't forget the minor are 24 in all and the major seven all right we are on the exotic pace the exotic pace we have us dollar uh, south african rand or exam us dollar norwegian kroon us dollar singaporean dollar us dollar swedish krona us dollar Mexican peso, US dollar, check corona. That's powerful out there. Check corona. So, looking at the exotic pairs closely, you could see that it consists one major or one important pair, and then together with an emerging or developing economy pair. Looking at the first one, you could see that uh, US dollar is the major currency against what ZA, which is an emerging or a developing. Uh, economy currency. So this one to US dollar is here, which is what a major currency against Norwegian crown. Norwegian crown is not uh, all that important. So we always pay the major currency with the emerging economy pay. Have you seen it? So they all consist of what at least one major pay US US USD against what the emerging pay. That's it. We are going to look at a uh, major pairs in little. The first one, uh, as I already said, is Euro USD. There are seven in all. USD, JPY, GBP USD, USD CHF. USD CAD, you normally call it what? Cash. That's Canadian dollar. AUD USD. 
NZD USD. Yes. So these are our major pairs in all seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now looking at the first category, which is the first four pairs. They are the most traded pairs among the seven. And then the last three, which are US USD C A D or CAD. AUD USD NZD USD. These pairs are called a uh, commodity currency pairs. Yes, they are called commodity currency pairs because they are related to various commodities in the forest market. So the first one, which is what US dollar uh, against Canadian dollar, is in relation to oil because Canada is, is the major exporter of oil in the world. So this very currency is in relation to oil and then second currency pair which is AUD USD is also what in relation to good it's a good currency pay because AUD which is Australian is a major exporter of what good take note and the third currency is New Zealand dollar uh, US dollar which is in line with uh, dairy products. New Zealand is well noted for hot production of dairy products and other forestry products. So dairy products, you already know them, meat, milk, and so on. That's a breakdown. We shall get there. I know most people don't know that and I started forest trading with indicators. And during those time, I wasn't successful at all. Not successful. So I decided to seek for higher advanced knowledge in the forest where I realized that the way banks trade is far different from how individual retail traders trade. Yeah, so I decided to share my knowledge and my experience as to how banks and financial institutions trade the financial markets for, for their daily profits. All right, to start with, we are coming to talk about a very interesting uh, aspect that will equip all of you. Yeah, as you can see, we are coming to talk about uh, types of traders. And in fact, we have so many types of traders. So, seek and see. The first category of traders are uh, scalpers. And uh, scalpers are a group of traders who hold trades for one to five minutes within shortest possible time then they are out of a trade so they place trades and then out of the trade within five minutes that's how they do their trading all right let's get to the next one you also have intraday traders they hold trades for 15 to 30 minutes or even up to a few hours and then take their profits that's it and then you also have another category of traders who are swing traders they hold trades or positions for weeks or even for months so as you can see, they hold longer positions more than the intraday traders. And intraday traders also hold uh, longer positions than the scalpers. That's how it means. All right, let's get to the next one. Yeah, we have what position traders. They are also very interesting traders that hold their positions for months or even for years. So this particular group of traders, that's where banks belong to. They hold trade uh, for longer time, up to years, and then close their positions, both their buy and sell positions. Very, very important. Okay, moving forward, we have another group of traders. That's an algorithmic group of traders. And uh, this kind of traders, they are the advanced type. They also refer to as uh, high frequency trading because they use automated uh, uh, trading by computers, uh, which are pre programmed to take certain actions in response to varying data like uh, time, price, and then volume. So, this kind of trading it leverages on high speed. Uh, high profits and other stuff. This is the highest level of trading. It involves the use of computers that they pre-programmed for uh, to take certain actions in response to varying data like uh, time, price, and uh, volume as I said. It's also very important. We are coming to talk about uh, advanced types of traders. As we earlier mentioned, the various types of traders, those traders can again be classified to advanced uh, groups of traders. The first category of advanced group of traders, retail traders. 
Yes, so we have retail traders, that's uh, you and I. Uh, normally we use uh, smaller trading capital to trade the market. So the uh, retail traders don't move the forex market because our trading capital is very insignificant to have effects uh, on the market. That's it. Retail traders are the starters in the intraday traders and then the uh, swing traders. Uh, yeah, so this category of traders, they, they made up of retail traders. So that's how it is. So now let's get to the next type of uh, advanced type of traders. We also have commercial speculators. Talking about commercial speculators, they are the huge trading friends for rich people or for rich investors. If you are not rich, there's no way you can dress with uh, these things because uh, before you can invest with them, you have to hold they have huge amounts to invest with them. They mostly deal with uh, rich investors. That's how it is. And then the next group of advanced types of uh, traders, uh, commercial traders. We have commercial traders, my people. And these commercial traders are um, investment banks like uh, Mary Lynch, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and then the rest, there are many. And then you also have uh, traditional banks like Standard Target Bank, Barclays Bank, Echo Bank, and so on. These banks trade with huge trading capital, therefore, move the markets. They can trade, and the market uh, responds to their trade. It goes in line with uh, their direction because they trade before huge volume of capital. That's how it is, my people. For the purpose of this video, uh, I only want to touch on the types of traders. So, don't forget, you and I belong to the retail traders, the first category of traders, because our positions are normally uh, very small to affect the market. So, that's it. Commercial speculators are for hedge funds, for rich people, and then we have for uh, commercial traders, for huge banks, and then other traditional banks and uh, financial institutions. Thank you for being with me. See you another time. Bye.